This is the quickest way to build a personal website in Notion with R2 Simple Ink. So I'll just cut to the chase. Um, I should start with step one, but I will start with step zero actually, which I will skip myself, which is get your Notion page ready. Just make your Notion page the same way you want your website to look like. My suggestion is just go to simple.ink and you could start with one of the templates. Um, you just click on it and once it loads up, just click duplicate. So we're still at step zero, which I won't do because I have my website, but let's just do it. I'll click duplicate here. I'll put it in my workspace and um, this is how my website looks like. Now for step one, what you want to do is click share and make sure this is ticked on. So by default, you'll be like this, tick on and then click copy. Now in your simple.ink dashboard, so you might see this if you already have an account such as I do. If you don't, just go actually on any page, not even, not, you don't have to be on a specific page, just paste your link here or even if you're down the page, up here in the lower right, upper right corner, I'm doing command V or control V if you're on, on a Windows machine, click build website and you get to the point that I am in here right now. So I'm not doing that because I have my account here, click new, paste the link and I'll just call this, let's see, CFD Daniel personal website three. I don't want to steal the good subdomain from you guys. So if there's any other CH Daniel, feel free to get yours. And then I click let's launch it. And I just wait a tiny bit. And by tiny bit, I mean a couple of seconds. And here we are, the website is live uh, on this very subdomain that I've chosen right here. You can change that. I'll get to that in a second. But let's see, loading and here we are. This is my website now. It's on CHD Daniel dash person dash blah, blah, blah. But let's say website three, I've changed my mind. I don't actually want that. I'm going to go to site customization domain. And by the way, we're already done by this point. But right now what I'm going to do is explore and walk you a bit more through what goes under the hood and what other things you can do. So I'm going to change to website one. But hold on a second. I've changed that but I have a custom domain. Let's say I own chdaniel.com, which I do. Uh, for that, you will need a paid plan. So you will need to upgrade to one of our paid plans. But if you're, looking, if you're not looking to pay anyone anything right now, you can just stick to your free um, simple.ink subdomain and you can change that and see whether you're happy with that. All right, so I'm right here. I want dash website one because I've changed that. Let's see what else can we do. Um, once you've built your website, let's see, we're looking at title and this icon right here. What you can do is in your create.simple.ink, in your simple.ink dashboard, you want to go to site customization, site settings. Now I'm already here. Um, what we'll do at a later point is we'll automatically, we're working on this at this very second. So, uh, we'll automatically copy the title of your Notion page into the title of your website. Um, this is done in the background, so expect this to be out by the time you have used Simple Link, I hope. I mean, I'm pretty certain, I don't just hope. And for site description, um, let's see, do I want this? This is what would appear in, in, uh, in search engines right under your name, under the big title. So uh, this is Sears Daniel's website. Feel free to look around. Good. That's it. Um, let me just save this before I go forward. Let's see Favicon and preview image for social media. Now I won't be doing a preview image, but Favicon is what you have right here. So um, I'll just, let's take this quick screenshot. Good, oops. I'll be using this as a Favicon just for the sake of this video. Choose file, choose a local file, right? And in here on the desktop, I have this. Now, once I click confirm changes, I should just wait a tiny, tiny bit. And this should, uh, in a few minutes, there we go. It's already up. So the title is there and the favicon is there. What else you can do? Well, sky is the limit. If you know how to code, you can make use of that as well. If not, no problem. We're making simple things so that you can build beautiful no code websites in, I would say minutes, but honestly, it's been seconds this time. I guess I should say minutes if you have a fantastically complex website, but that is rarely the case. Um, what, you, what you can do now is uh, go nuts, go crazy on the Notion page. So the beautiful thing is 
if I say, let's just say copyright CH Daniel 2022, if I make a few changes on the Notion page, whoops, no, not this, let me just do refresh. There we go. Sorry for messing up the keyboard shortcuts. Every change I make on the Notion page is almost very close to instantly applied to the live website. So here we are. This is the shortest and fastest way to build your personal website. Um, as time goes by, we'll keep adding more features. And not only that, we'll, we'll start adding themes. So maybe you like the way Notion looks like, but there's more to it. You can change the layout or change only tiny things, which we will have made for you already. So you just have to select a theme, apply it to your website, and then just change the, the, the layout. I mean, not every month, maybe every day if you feel like it, every hour if you feel like it, whatever. So Notion themes for the websites. And uh, yeah, keep in touch with us as we keep adding more features. Thanks for checking this out. And uh, let me know in the comments below what questions you have about building a personal website with Notion. I'll be happy to jump in and uh, sort you out with, with an answer if I have it. If not, well, at least the conversation is worth having. Cheers.